Greetings, my name is Peter Jones, and it's an honor and a privilege to come before you today as your 76th president of the Florida Association of the American Institute of Architects. More importantly, however, it is with unabashed enthusiasm that I come to you as we begin our recognition and celebration of the 100th year of our association. Like those Florida architects who 100 years ago associated themselves in order to organize and unite in fellowship and to combine their efforts to promote the artistic, scientific, practical efficiency of the profession, their vision for me holds true today. Over the years since December 14, 1912, when 42 Florida architects met in the great city of Jacksonville and organized as the Florida Association of Architects, AIA Florida has dedicated itself to cooperate with the other professions, to promote and participate in the matters of public welfare, as well as educational programs for the advancement of the profession. We know that Florida architects play a major role in the planning and design of our built environment and as such play an important role in enhancing the quality of life and protecting the health, safety and welfare of Florida residents and visitors. Through creative problem solving, considered stewardship of our natural resources and the environment, Architects have brought to us sustainable residences, schools, churches, and other buildings which will serve the people of Florida for many years to come. This year, AI Florida seeks to advance, preserve, and restore Florida's built heritage by highlighting 100 years and 100 places of Florida architecture during its centennial year. On March 5th, we will launch an online competition for the ranking of the top 100 buildings and places as selected by architects and the general public. Voting will close March 31st and the winners will be announced in early April in the localities where the top buildings reside. We hope to generate publicity and general buzz about the profession through the media at events all across the state. It is perhaps the most intensive public education and public relations outreach in our 100 year history. Engaging and listening to the public about the great work architects have created through our wonderful state. Next, we will celebrate at the Breakers Hotel July 19th through 22nd with dignitaries, honored members, and emerging professionals. I am pleased to announce that Senator Bob Graham has agreed to be our kickoff speaker. This year's annual meeting and convention promises to be the biggest ever, and I look forward to seeing you then. Fair warning, this event will sell out early. The Breakers has been one of our most popular venues, and with the added impetus of being our 100th anniversary, everyone who is anyone in Florida architecture will want to be there. Finally, we plan to end the year with an event on December 14th to commemorate the original signing of our organizational documents. As some of you may know, along with my adventures in architecture, I also teach at Indian River Charter High School in Vero Beach. I wish I could express in words what fun it is when one of my students calls for me to look at the house they're designing or when, upon seeing one of the many incredible views of Frank Lloyd Wright's Kaufman residence, Falling Water, there's a collective <gasps> that comes across the room. It's like that moment of celebration when a design idea seems to jump off the page and we're in that place we've just created. Excited by the idea, visualizing the possibilities, and knowing the moment of what is to be. And speaking of what's to be, what an incredible challenge and opportunity awaits us as we look forward to our next 100 years. Empowering generations of designers to come, exploring and understanding the changing role of the architect in a global economy, and educating the public by stepping out of the studio to engage the very communities in which we practice. So join me, won't you, as we honor the past, celebrate the present, and embrace the future.